August 1, 2007. Erica Gwillem was on her way home from work when she turned onto the I-35W bridge in Minneapolis. Nobody ever expects a bridge to collapse, um, something with sturdy infrastructure. Nobody expects that. And it happened. She dropped 85 feet and survived. 13 people did not. People are without spouses or children or um, because of that, and that could happen anywhere. She's right. One in four bridges in the U.S. is structurally deficient or functionally obsolete. Today we're seeing larger truck traffic. Um, and more demands placed on our bridges over their lifetime. Rice University civil and environmental engineer Jamie Padgett is now studying shape memory alloys, or SMAs, to improve bridge performance. This SMA can return to its original shape simply by applying heat. They're highly corrosion resistant, which is important for bridge applications. Another example, when you excessively stretch this super elastic alloy, it quickly regains its original form. The goal, to retrofit existing bridges with these materials so they can better withstand earthquakes, hurricanes, and deterioration. There are a lot of positive steps forward, uh, but on the same end, I would say there's still a lot left to do. Erica welcomes the research. We could try to prevent another bridge from collapsing and from other families from having to experience what our families have had to experience. I'm Alex Kane reporting.